guys, welcome to a channel or welcome back to a channel where we talk about things. I'm Katie and I'm a photographer. I'm a wedding photographer. I'm trying to come up with a different intro and honestly I don't know what I want to say but my name's Katie. Hi. I'm a wedding photographer. Today I wanted to talk about how to create your wedding pricing packages. Okay, starting your wedding packages, um, first of all, you need to know how you wanna price yourself. So I have a whole video that's a little older, but um, still has some good information about a pricing strategy. You need to know what you're valued based on your location, your experience, your gear, etc. So we're gonna talk under the assumption that you know around the pricing strategy. Like you know your pricing strategy, you know how much you're gonna start charging. So building a wedding package, um, for me I have three. And so my advice or tip on that is to not give too many options. I think it gets really overwhelming for people. Um, you're probably not the first photographer that they have seen or come to their your website. Um, so there are a lot of different options out there. So if you can just consolidate those into three or four packages, it will reduce the confusion and just like overall, overall overwhelmingness of the options. Because honestly, you do not want people to feel overwhelmed. For me, I can definitely create custom packages, but again, that is like a case-by-case -case basis. Instead of saying, oh, well, if you have, need four hours coverage, five hours coverage, six hours coverage, seven hours coverage, like, and you have 10 packages on your website, that's overwhelming, don't do that, okay? So really try to get three or four main packages and then you can customize those with your couples, like not advertise on your website, okay? Um, I do add a little line that, you know, I can customize my packages to fit my couple's needs, okay? Um, so that's something that you can add. So let's just say we're going to have three packages. The first one is going to be the more economic one. So really your base package. For me, this is five hours of wedding coverage. Um, they still get their gallery, they still get edited photos, but that's my base package. Love it. Love it when they bark when I film. The second package is more of the package I want people to actually book. Okay? So that one, I give seven hours of wedding coverage, but I also add a perk of a complimentary engagement or bridal session with that package. And now I will say, if you are going to offer complimentary engagement or bridal sessions, just beware. People will ask you if they do not want to do that. Um, if they don't want the complimentary engagement session, can they get a reduced rate on package and the reason I frame it on my packages is complimentary so then I can come and say it's complimentary the package price is still the same whether you use it or not okay um, maybe you do things differently but that's just like a small tip like to the side that's what I do okay so that's like an added perk now my third package um, that will contain nine hours of wedding coverage the dogs are barking, there's nothing I can do. Contains nine hours of wedding coverage, also the perk of an added engagement or bridal session, and then maybe you even add like a free 10 by 10 canvas to that package. So really you're offering to different kind of clients. So if somebody's a bit more budget conscious, they can book your lower package, so really you're just there on wedding day. If they want a bit more of an experience, they can purchase the higher two packages as well. But for me, I like that middle package. I think seven, even eight hours, depending on how you wanna increment your time. I do five, seven, nine. Some people do seven, eight, 10. Some people do four, seven, no, four, six, eight. It's really how you prefer or would like to do it. That middle package, seven to eight hours, maybe even six to eight hours, is perfect for me to get everything I want done on a wedding day by myself as a solo lead photographer. If I had a second photographer, maybe 
I wouldn't need as much time because the whole other person's there, but I do it all myself. Okay, unless they ask to con contract a second photographer, that's a side note. Anyway, so you have your three main packages and you price them like based on your pricing strategy that you want to implement, right? So let's say, I'm going to get my trusty old calculator. Let's say you want to charge $250 an hour for your weddings. So $250 times seven, no, we want to do times five, is 1250 so that is your more budget conscious they just want wedding coverage kind of couple for your second package 250 times 7 which is 1750 so for two more hours of coverage on their wedding day they also get that complimentary engagement or bridal session so if they wanted to add that to because my engagement and bridal sessions are two hours some people even do three but I do two um, would cost them what $250 an hour so like $500 extra but if they went to package number two they get that and also two additional hours of wedding coverage so again it's kind of the better deal if they want a bit more of an experience and I definitely think not just money wise money wise out of it having an engagement session or a bridal portrait session beforehand lets you really vibe with your couples they get to view your work because you edit and send them their engagement photos if they hate them they can book elsewhere it really helps you meet your couples beforehand so that's another reason why i really like that middle package because they get the complimentary engagement session but um I get to meet them before their actual wedding day. We get to go over poses, we get comfortable with each other. It's just all around a good time, okay? So then, we're gonna say for the more higher end package, nine hours is $2,250. So again, maybe you throw in the free canvas, maybe you even round up to $2,300 because you are throwing in a free canvas or a complimentary canvas. I've heard that if you use the term free, it like cheapens it. So you throw in the complimentary engagement or bridal session and a complimentary canvas, and then you round up the pricing to $2,300. That's going to be your more higher end client. And if that's what you're after, perfect. But I personally, opinion, think it's great to have three different packages for three different kinds of brides <laughs> or couples that, you know, again, if you're a bit more budget conscious, you like my work, but you just want me on wedding day, there's a package for you. I urge you to be in the center, but also if you want a higher end, um, you want that included canvas, you want some other perks, you can have that higher end package as well. So with that, you could also add, um, if you want a second shooter, second photographer with that package, you could offer that at package three. You get two photographers, a complimentary engagement session, and nine hours of wedding coverage. There are different things that you can do based on, I guess, you and what you want to do with your packages, but that is what I like to do. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!